Hi, today I will demonstrate a unique product which is designed and manufactured by Nelso and it's completely Indian product, GSM or SMS based pump controller. You can use this product to turn on or off from your mobile phone by sending corresponding SMS to it. Now I will show you how to install and configure this product. As you can see, there is a green button to start the pump and a red button to switch it off. Let's have a look on its connections. Red button has two wires and green has four. Sometimes there might be two wires instead of four in the green button. As you can see, the left green button has four wires whereas the right one has only two. Let's see what happens when we press these two buttons. We will need a meter, put it in continuity mode. When you press the green button, the upper two points get short and once you leave it, the points become open. Same things happen with the lower two points. The points in red button will be short already and open when you press it. Let's unbox the product. You'll find SMS pump controller, user manual, GSM antenna and few clamps and ties. Connect the GSM antenna to the controller. Now, remove its cover. Insert 2G, 3G or 4G SIM, except GeoSIM. And cover it back. Mark the points where you need to fix the pump. Take two pins from the clamps. And fix the pump as shown in the video. Connect two wires to RL1 point that is relay 1 which is normally open. Connect the other end of the two blue wires into two points above the start switch. These two points get short when you press the green button and it will get short automatically when the relay is on. Now. Connect two wires to RL2 point. This wire and the blue wire are the output of different NO contact of the same relay. Now connect other end of this wire to the two lower points in the green switch. If your green switch has only two points, then connect only the yellow wire which is connected in the device connector. RL4 point is normally connected. Now connect two red wires into the points. Now remove one black wire from red button which is already attached and connect other end of the red wire to this removed black wire and secure it with tape. Now connect the other end of the red wire to the point from where you remove the black wire in the red button. Now remove the jumper.
connect two wires to AC 230 volt connector. And now turn on the switch. The GSM LED will blink every one second until it receives the network. And once network is received, it will blink at an interval of 3 seconds. Now, let's see the configuration. Select the device SIM number to send SMS. You can store 5 admin mobile numbers from which you will be operating the controller. Every command should start and end with a dollar symbol. You need to enter the dollar symbol following UN1, that is user number 1, Enter the mobile number and the dollar symbol at the end without any space and send it. Once the controller receives the SMS, the status LED will blink few times and you will receive a reply SMS if the number is stored successfully. Now you can operate or store any other admin numbers only from this mobile number which you have registered as UN1. Now type $ON$ to switch the pump on and send the SMS. Again the status LED will blink few times as it receives the SMS and then it will keep glowing until the pump is switched on. You will receive a reply SMS from the controller. The scheduled pump on off facility will be deactivated as the pump is manually turned on to switch it off send dollar off dollar message and you will receive the reply sms again the status led will now turn off you can also switch on or off the pump by just giving a miss call from the registered admin numbers you will receive the same reply here as well the status led will blink few times and then keep glowing It will turn off with your second miss call. The pump on off system will toggle with every miss call. If you wish to have a look on the list of the stored admin numbers, type dollar $LST$ and send it. You will receive the list of the mobile numbers that is registered. To register second admin mobile number, type $UN2 and the mobile number and send it. Remember, you can register new mobile numbers only using the user number that is already registered. Now you can view the list again by sending $LST$. If you want to delete any user number, then type $DEL and the ID number following dollar symbol again and send it. You will receive reply SMS. Now, if you see the list, you will find UN2 deleted. You can store three scheduled time to honor of the pump. For first scheduled time, you need to type dollar $SHD1 space start time hyphen stop time in 24 hours format dollar and send it. You will receive a reply message with scheduled pump on off facility activated and a list of the schedules. You will also receive messages whenever the pump is switched on or off as per schedule.
you can register schedule 2 and 3 in the same way If you want to check the list of the schedules, type $SHD question mark dollar and send it. You will get the list of the schedule already stored. To clear any schedule, type $CLR schedule ID dollar and send it. You will receive the success message with modified schedule list. If you want to stop the scheduled functionality and on and off the pump manually, type $MAN$ and send it. Schedule on off facility will be deactivated. If you want to start the scheduled on off facility, type $AUTO$ and send it. Scheduled pump on off facility will be activated. If you wish to receive device generated notifications through SMS then type dollar n o n dollar that is notification on and send it if you do not want device generated notification then type dollar n o f dollar that is notification of and send it to check the status of the controller at any time send dollar s t a dollar and you will receive the status of pump and main power. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is uploaded.